The Dick Van Dyke Show. vacation. Maybe I took a trip around the world or something. <laughs> well, so long, gang. Happy holidays. So See you later. Buddy. See you Tuesday morning. Hey, Rob, what are you going to do over the weekend? I don't Wait know. a minute. Wait a minute. Hold everything. I got a problem. Oh, boy, have you got a problem. No, beside that. Look, my... my, my, my <laughs> well, we got a little three-day weekend, right? Yeah. Well, my wife Pickles and me, we want to go to Niagara Falls on a little honeymoon. Honeymoon? Honeymoon? You've been married for ten years, buddy. You're just going on the honeymoon? We wanted to see how things would work out before we spent the money. <laughs> my problem is Larry, my dog. Buddy, why don't you take Larry with you on your honeymoon? Oh, well, we'd like to, but he gets car sick. <laughs> yeah, that could be a drag, a nauseous dog. <laughs> hey, I got a fantastic idea. Boing! I don't know why I didn't think of it. Anything. Why don't you take Larry and put him in a kennel? Larry in a dog kennel? What's the matter? Does he know he's a dog? Uh, no, we haven't told him yet. He thinks he's a relative. <laughs> Besides, you know how Pickles loves that dog. If I had to put him in a dog kennel, she'd blow the whole honeymoon. She wouldn't go nothing. No, well, I'm sorry, buddy. I'd like to help you out. Really, I would. But I'm afraid Mr. Henderson wouldn't approve. Wait a minute. Who's Mr. Henderson? My cat. <laughs> hey, what kind of name is that for a cat, Mr. Henderson? Oh, I wouldn't throw stones if I were you, buddy. Not with a dog named Larry and a wife named Pickles. <laughs> Bye. So long, Rob. Have a nice weekend. Bye, Sal. Same to you. Oh, hey, Rob. Forget it. <laughs> but he's a wonderful dog. You won't have a bit of trouble with him. I know, but I'll have plenty of trouble with my wife. Well, why? You, you, you're staying home for the weekend anyway, aren't you? Well, I don't know. We haven't discussed it yet. Your wife will love him. She'll... You, you know the, the old saying, dog is man's best friend? Mm -hmm. My wife happens to be a woman. <laughs> with brand new carpets. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand your attitude. Hey, did your, your kid ever have a dog? No, he never did. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, uh, every boy should have a dog. What is a boy without a dog? No, absolutely no, no dog. Hey, Larry. Yes, honey? I'm all back for the motel. Oh, Richie, it's not settled yet. Well, I'm settled. I got my sweater, my pajamas, my baseball coat, my teeth brush, and my half a teddy bear. <laughs> honey, I want to talk to you now, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. Okay, Mommy. Now, this trip to Connecticut isn't settled yet. I haven't discussed it with Daddy. But can we sleep in motel? I didn't see why not. You held on staying at a motel. Larry, boy. Now, Daddy should be home Sit any here minute. A minute. When he gets here, we'll right discuss back. it with him. And if Daddy says yes, then we'll spend the weekend in Connecticut. But we always discuss with Daddy anything that affects the family before we agree to do it. Anything? Anything that involves the three of us. Larry, wait in the car and keep the motor running. <laughs> Will Daddy say yes? I think he might. You say yes, don't you, Mommy? Yes, but Daddy has to say yes, too. That's the way families do things. All families? Well, I don't know about all families, but that's the way our family operates. That's our system. Hi, folks. Where is everybody? Daddy's home. Uh, a motel? Say yes, Daddy. That's our system. <laughs> our system? Well, I was just telling Richie that you and I confer on all decisions that affect the family. Don't we, darling? Uh, yes. That, uh, when, uh, whenever possible, Rich. Say yes, Daddy. Oh, well, Rich, I, I don't know. Well, honey, I thought that uh, since you're going to be off for three days, that we could drive up to Connecticut, sleep over in a motel, and then uh, come back the next day. What, uh, honey, what would we want to stay in a motel for? Because I never stayed in a motel. Well, Richie, it's the same as a hotel, and you stayed in one of those. No, I haven't. Well, yes, you did. Don't you remember we went to Chicago to see Grandma and Grandpa? I don't remember. 
What do you mean you don't remember? Don't you remember? We had a beautiful room and we could see the water and we had breakfast in the room every day. Sure you remember that. Rob, he was only seven months old. <laughs> it's not the point. Of the, he did stay in a hotel. Now, that's all I'm getting at. Well, you, you don't have to get so excited about it. Who's getting excited? I am merely pointing out that the boy did stay in a hotel. Now, let's just keep the record straight. We can sleep in a motel sometime. Why not? Why not tomorrow night? A man just doesn't interrupt his entire way of life and go driving a whole family up to Connecticut just to stay in some strange motel. <laughs> Certain responsibilities a man has to take care of first. Oh? After the responsibilities, can we go? <laughs> it's not that simple, Rich. Um, Richie, will you go wash your hands, please, so I can talk to Daddy? Can't you talk to Daddy if my hands are dirty? <laughs> Richie, please. <laughs> Rob, what's bothering you? Who said anything was bothering me? Well, you're in a terribly defensive mood tonight. Now, there must be a reason. Well, how would you like if you came home and out of a clear blue sky, your wife says, let's drive to Connecticut and stay in some motel? It's the most wildest thing I ever heard of. What's so wild about that? Well, I, I have different plans for the weekend. <laughs> Want to stay home and putter. <laughs> Doing what? Well, doing all the things you've been begging for me to fix all these weeks. Like what? Well, uh, up in Richie's closet there, the, the light bulb's burned out. <laughs> you know something? I bet if we get right at it, don't let ourselves be distracted by anything, we could probably have that old light bulb out and a new one in, still have part of the weekend left to go to Connecticut. <laughs> Well, the lawn sprinkler, it, it didn't shh anymore. It just goes <laughs> and I don't want to talk about it anymore. It... You um, want to talk about this blonde hair? Well, what do you want to hear about? It? Just everything. And while you're at it, you might as well explain all these other hairs, like this black one and this gray one, this clump of tan. Rob, you brought home a dog. <laughs> you should be on a panel show. <laughs> Rob, how could you buy a dog without consulting me? Now, honey, you're getting all upset for nothing. I didn't buy a dog. So someone gave him to and you. no one gave me a dog. Well, I don't care if he thumbed a ride on the highway. <laughs> Rob, we are not ready to own a dog. Honey, it's Larry. Larry who? Larry Sorrell, Buddy's dog. He's going to be our weekend guest. Now, we can hardly go off and stay in a motel with Larry, can we? No, we can't. Now, we have to spend the weekend here babysitting for a dog. Well, honey, it's going to be fun. Look, uh, Richie's been asking for a dog, right? This will give us a perfect chance to see if he's capable of taking care of one. Right? Now, he's going to have a lot more fun romping around here with Larry than he is staying in some strange motel. It'll be fun. I'll go get it. Mommy, Mommy, I shot out the window! You saw what out the window, dear? There's a big wolf driving Daddy's car! That's not a wolf, dear. That's Larry. It's not a Larry, it's a wolf! I don't want it here! Well, it seems that Richie doesn't feel like romping with Larry, does it? Yeah. Son, look, it's all right. Daddy will take him out and lock him up in the garage. But you know, you're going to have fun with him, you'll see. No, I won't. He's very friendly. <laughs> Richie, you come out of there. <laughs> He's also very hungry. <laughs> left, a lot of spaghetti, if anyone's still hungry. I got room for two more strings. <laughs> Our house guest sounds like he's hungry. Shall we feed him? He's not my house guest, dear. If you think he's asking for his dinner, then go ahead and feed him. 
Oh, Buddy and Pickles gave me a menu for him. Honey, do we have any chunk horse meat in the refrigerator? <laughs> no. How about uh, lamb kidneys? <laughs> tripe? Tripe? Uh, we're out of tripe, huh? Well, uh, hey, how about I give him the rest of the spaghetti and meatballs? Well, if you do, you won't have your favorite leftover breakfast tomorrow. I'll have eggs. <clears throat> hey, I'll put it on a paper plate. You won't, you won't even have to wash any dishes. <laughs> Don't you want to take him a napkin, too? Oh. <laughs> Mommy! Yes, dear? Did you want the wool pair? No, I didn't, dear. Did Daddy ask you if you wanted the wool pair? No, he didn't. That's not our system, is it? <laughs> well, not exactly. We should have discussed bringing Larry home. The wolf is eating daddy! The wolf is eating daddy! Richie, he's not eating daddy. Now, come out of there. This is being ridiculous. Rob, what did he do to you? Nothing. What? You call this nothing? Oh, honey, he didn't do that. I ripped it on his tooth. <laughs> He's just a noisy eater, that's all. He loved your spaghetti and meatballs. I'm flattered. Well, don't be so flattered. He ate the paper plate, too. Rob, that does it. I don't want that vicious dog in this house. Honey, he's not a vicious dog. He just ate a paper plate. That doesn't make him vicious. That just means he's not a gourmet, that's all. Well, I just don't feel safe under the same roof with a dog who eats everything in sight. Me neither. <laughs> Richie, what are you doing in that closet? Eating chocolate pudding. <laughs> Honey, why do you let the boy eat chocolate pudding in a broom closet? Because you let a wolf eat spaghetti in the garage. <laughs> now come out of there, Rich, and know darn well you're not supposed to hide in the closet. I don't want the wolf to eat me. Richie, look, it's not a wolf, it's just a dog. Richie, honey, go in the living room and watch television. Don't let him in the house, Daddy. <laughs> Two hours ago, that was a normal, happy boy. All right, Laura, what do you want me to say? You want me to say, I'm sorry I brought Larry home? All right, I'll say it. I am sorry I brought Larry home. I should have called and checked with you in the first place. Is that what you want to hear? Yes, I enjoyed that. <laughs> now I would like to hear you call Buddy Sorrell and ask him to take his friendly wolf home. Buddy Sorrell's on his way to Niagara Falls. Oh, Rob, how could you do this? I would never think of inviting someone into this house without consulting you. Oh, now wait a minute. How about your Aunt Mildred? You are not going to compare my Aunt Mildred to a German Shepherd. No, but I could. I'm in enough trouble to do it. <laughs> Honey, what have you got against that dog? I just don't like him. How do you know you don't like him? You never even met him. Well, I've never met Dracula either. <laughs> Honey, please. He's just a sweet dog. Meet him. Say hello to him anyway. I'll tell you what, honey. If you are not captivated by this dog, when I introduce you to him, I'll get rid of him. You'll get rid of him if I'm not captivated by him? Well, I don't mean that you're going to fall in love with him. No, you said captivated. Honey, it's not Cary Grant. It's just a dog. <laughs> I simply mean that you like him. Well, what do you say, huh? All right, but if I don't take to him right away, then out he goes. Out he goes. I'll get it. All right. I'll get him. What am I doing? He's only a dog? <laughs> Larry, this is my wife, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Your Aunt Mildred never gave me her paw. I have to admit that. Does he stay? Well, 
honey ought to know about Rich. Honey, Rich is gonna love this dog. There isn't a boy in the whole world that wouldn't want a dog like Larry. Now, go, go bring him in. All right, but if Rich doesn't take to him, Larry goes. Agreed, but you don't worry. He'll, he'll take to him, all right. Larry, boy, if you ever behave yourself in your life, do it now. If you don't, you'll end up in a kennel like a dog. <laughs> Try and smile. <laughs> Richie, Daddy just wants you to say hello to Larry. Go on. Go on. <coughs> he wants to eat me. He wants to eat me. He doesn't want to eat you, Rich. Please, Daddy, don't let him eat me. Don't let him eat me. Take that animal to the garage, Rob, please. Come on, Larry. You're not man's best friend anymore. Richie, you can come out now. Daddy's putting him away. Kill the wolf? No, dear. He's locking him in the garage. You must shoot him with a silver bullet. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Can we sleep in a motel? Not tonight, dear, but we will tomorrow night. Did Daddy say yes? It doesn't matter. That's not our system. <laughs> it's our new system. <laughs> Rob. Huh? Rob. I'm up. I'm up. What happened? Honey, you've got to do something about that crying. Oh, honey. Now, we agreed he could sleep in the garage one night. We agreed he would sleep. Well, try not to listen to it. I can't help it. I react to crying. I'm a mother. <laughs> not the dog's mother. Well, I can't sleep if I hear it. Now, see if you can do something, honey. Probably just used to having people around and he's lonesome. I'm coming. Larry, I'm coming. Mm. I don't blame you, boy. I wouldn't like if they made me sleep in a cold garage either. Now, here you are. Nice, warm kitchen. Just make yourself right at home. Do anything you want, boy. Only look, my wife's a mother. You know how mothers are. So please, don't cry anymore, Larry. Just make yourself at home, but don't cry. Okay, boy? Good night, boy. Shh, don't cry. Good night. Shh. What is it, Larry? What's the matter? You don't like it in here? You're right, the floor's cold on my feet. And you've got four of them. <laughs> It's too cold in here. You can't make a house guest sleep in the kitchen. Come on, I'll make the comfortable. Inner springs. Look for your head. Come on, boy. Hop on up there. Make sure. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go to get up there, boy. That's a nice fella. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry we haven't got any clean sheets. Go to sleep now. Shh. No more noise, boy. Good night. Shh. Larry, I'm getting mad. <laughs> Larry, what is it? What do you want from me? What do you sleep on at home? A dog bed. Of course, he sleeps on a dog bed. You stay right there, Larry. Don't move. I'll fix you up. in there. <laughs> right. Come on, Lair. 
Yeah, I think you got a few pounds on me, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Get the picture, boy. <laughs> Come on, boy, in there. Come on. Up on the thing. One, two, three. Boy. Larry. Come on. You know better than that. Come on, boy. That's a way for Oh, you're adorable. All right, boy, make yourself a home. Shh. No noise. No noise, boy. What's the, what's the matter with you now? <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> You're lonely for me. <laughs> Shepherd. is new? Stop making jokes and tell me what an empty crib is doing in our bedroom. There's no dog in the crib. There's no dog in the crib. Larry! Bob, what are you Larry, talking Larry, Larry, Laura, where is it? How would I know? I didn't get any sleep last Larry, night. Larry, boy! Did you have the dog in here was, all night long? It was the only thing to keep him from crying, oh, honey. I did it for you. you do that? I thought Larry's eat chicken salad. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of him? Honey, he's my friend. Well, honey, last night you were so frightened. What made you change? He did. Well, what did he do, Rich? When I woke up, he was sleeping with me. In your bed? I just sat on my pillow. And he didn't look like a wolf anymore. He looked like a dog. So I gave him chicken salad. <laughs> I was going to use this for our sandwiches for the trip tomorrow. <laughs> Can't we stay home and feed Larry the chicken salad? Hey, Rich, you mean you'd rather stay here and feed Larry chicken salad than go stay in a motel? Yes, can we? We sure can. I mean, we have to uh, discuss it with your mama first. Can we, Laura? Say yes, Mommy. That's our system. <laughs> well, with those three pair of sad eyes staring at me, how can I say no? Yay! Yay! Come on, Larry. Say thank you to the people. <laughs> Atta boy, we gotta go. Thanks again. Okay. Come on, Larry. Bye, buddy. I just wait. Remember, any time if you happen to need a dog, I... <laughs> Daddy, if Larry has puppies, can we get one? Well, Rich, Larry is a male. He can't have any puppies. I know, but his wife can. Can we, Daddy? Well, we'll have to discuss it with Mommy first. And Mommy will have to discuss it with Buddy. And Buddy will have to discuss it with Larry. And Larry will have to discuss it with his wife. Because that's our system, huh, Mommy? <laughs>